I gotta keep some things private. Because God knows I talk about everything else, right? <laughs> I sure do. <clears throat> you know, now that I know that the uh, the family curse through my the mother's line and my father's line was this narcissistic family dysfunction, um, I actually, before I knew all these names, I just knew what toxicity was. And I knew what felt good and what didn't feel good. And it wasn't about avoiding effort. It was about recognizing when less effort would be wasted on somebody. Yes, that's me. We're gonna be off for our adventure. These are my new earrings. You see them? Watermelon tourmaline. Gosh, that looks like it's it. And now these people have to wait in line for the next one. And off goes the ferry. Not a very big one, as you can see. So this, this is Hatteras Village. So here we have the live oak. And as you can see, it's very beautiful. So we'll be taking a walk here after I have a beer. Over there on the other side where that uh, building is, all brightly colored. I made it. So, this is a very old place. We've got a cemetery. It rained today, and so I went shopping. It's owned by a local uh, family, and then they have their merch shop, and they own this oyster company, or an oyster farm, and they even give tours, and this was $10. So I got two articles of clothing. I'm so excited. So yeah, I have been exploring, getting to know the area. I did the yoga. I did some uh, photography of the, the fairy landing. And then right back there at night, I just hear the bugs and the tree frogs whispering to me. And now that I'm coming out of that fog uh, of narcissistic abuse, which is emotional abuse on all levels. It's spiritual rape. And the, yes, there is such a thing as, as emotional abuse. Um, when you come out of that, you're just so grateful that you don't have that person in your life anymore. You spend a good amount of time just rejoicing. So I think that's where I am. Just so happy to be free from the conflict-driven character. And that's part of being a child of a narcissistic parent. You're actually led to believe you're less than. And 
When you come to believe it, it does what's called uh, learned helplessness. And now that I'm coming out of that fog, when you come out of that, you're just so grateful that you don't have that person in your life anymore. You spend a good amount of time just rejoicing. So I think that's where I am. Just so happy to be free from the conflict-driven character. I no longer am partnered as I grew out of my um, past and the environment of my past in which the replication of my childhood hell was achieved by inappropriate partners who are pathologically narcissistic. Now, because narcissism and being called that or calling somebody that has become so popular, it is uh, been diluted. But I'm not here to prove a point to an ignorant human being. Any of you who have had the experience of a truly pathologically narcissistic person knows that you can't argue with one. So you don't. So I have a, a video, uh, good news for women over 50, you're, you'll be better off single. Um, I get a lot of negative comments, of course, uh, from uh, gamma types, gamma males and disgruntled humans. And I have had, to, I was very successful in maintaining my sanity in, in relationships in which there were lesser forms and then greater forms of the, of the narcissistic abuse. I'm not going to go into it. I'm not going to give you examples right now because I have already provided them in videos. And it, frankly, it's a downer to go back into that world again and into that realm. Just remembering it is hideous. So instead, because I've had the juxtaposition of my life, I have the comparison and contrast of life in hell with a conflict oriented personality who's not happy who's not secure with themselves, who wants to pick a fight with you whenever you're perfectly happy. Then you have endless arguments over nothing and they're angry at you for something you didn't do or you did do. But frankly, your very existence is enough to piss them off. I don't miss that. <laughs> Enjoy your life and don't let anybody tell you uh, that you're not having a good time if you're not adhering to their idea of a good time. I march to the beat of my own drummer. I have my own standards, my own ethics, my own values, and I'm perfectly happy with them. In fact, ecstatic. Et voila. It's 60% polyester, but it's meant to move with my body. <laughs> what a beautiful day it's been. What a beautiful day. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah, these are for real. These are for real, but they're not scary. Just swim out of them by going side, alongside the beach. You don't turn around and fight against it or you'll die. Coming in, the famous 
leopard shoes. I almost bit the dust and went out to the sea. Oops. <laughs> Yes, complete with showers. Such a great beach. <laughs> so yes, hello everyone. Wish you all a beautiful day and uh, I will be connecting again real soon.